Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are back on the race car. Let's go! It's been a while since we worked on the race car. Since then, done a little bit of work and we have some new parts. This is the second prototype. There will be another third and final prototype after this. This is based on the MIT race car version 2.5. We had some platforms made up. They're laser cut quarter inch ABS. You can see that they have holes for mounting directly to the chassis and for mounting the sensors and electronics. There are holes for a Jetson TK1 that line up. So that's one option for computing. For this project, I'm going to be using a Jetson TX1. There are also mounting holes for the TX1. And because the TX2 uses the same carrier board, it will also fit here. The top platform is mounted on standoffs. This platform is a little bit changed from the original design. Here's one of the originals. This one has a hole in it to mount a LiDAR along with a mounting plate for the LiDAR that goes, gets mounted underneath here on standoffs. For this version, I'm not going to use that particular LiDAR, so I left it off on this. There are also some 3D printed parts. These are mounts for cameras. This one's for the Stereo Labs Z camera. This one is for a structure I.O. sensor. This is a new original electronic speed controller. It's called a VESC. It's open source. This is what we originally used on the project. A different version which is basically the same hardware, but in a different package. Let's open it up, take a look. Bubbles. This is the VESC X. You see it's just packaged differently. This is an aluminum plate on the bottom. So it should be much easier to mount. Also, you notice that it has what appears to be an XT60 connector. So we can connect it directly to a battery. And then these go to the motor. It has much the same connectors. It has a CAN bus connector on it. Micro USB is how we'll talk to it on this particular revision. So you can see that's a much tidier packaging option. So we'll put this aside. Also on this lower platform, we mount a seven port USB 3.0 hub. Amazon Basics. Let's open this up. On the MIT cars, they just take the package off of this and mount the bare circuit board underneath on this platform. So this is the top of the platform. The VESC will go underneath. And the USB hub will go underneath also. So we'll flip it over. So we will come up with a clever way to attach this. I don't think I'm going to take it out of the case. I'm just going to use dual lock on it. On this one, we'll have to think about it a little bit. This is the aluminum heat sink. I'm not quite sure how to mount this. I'm not real excited about mounting it to the piece of plastic, though I'm sure it would be fine. Let's flip it back over. And then for the battery, we'll use this energizer. The cool thing about the energizer is that it has three outputs. The first output is a 16 to 20 volts. There's a USB output, which is five volts. And then there's a nine to 12 volt output here. 
So we can use this to drive the electronics that are on board and we can drive the Jetson with the 16 to 20 volt. So let's take a look at the car itself. On a previous iteration of the car, we used an Arduino. It controlled the steering servo and the stock electronic speed controller. So you can see that they're wired appropriately. In this iteration of the car, we will not need the electronic speed controller or the transmitter. This is the ESC and this is the transmitter. So both of these can come out. We will swap over to a regular LiPo battery with an XT60 connector to drive the VESC. These are the mounting points that the platform gets attached to. So we will remove these and mount the platform there. So we have a little bit of assembly to do and we'll be ready to go to the next step. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.